How to synchronize your Sigfox devices to Octobus. Retrieving login data from the Sigfox backend. To initiate the Sigfox synchronization process in Octobus, the first step is to log into the Sigfox backend and obtain your API access credentials. To begin, navigate to the following web page in your browser https colon slash slash backend.sigfox.com slash auth slash login. Make sure to take note of your API login and API password, as you will require this information later on when accessing Octobus. It is recommended that you temporarily copy these details into a text file for future use. To access the Sigfox backend, enter your email address and password into the login portal. Once you have successfully logged in, the welcome page will be displayed. From here, navigate to the top menu and select, Groups, to be directed to the group page. Select the group where your registered devices are located from the list of groups displayed, which you wish to view in Octobus. Once you have selected your desired group, a menu will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. This menu will include, API Access, as the final entry. Simply click on, API Access, to proceed. Upon accessing the page, any available API access entries will be displayed. If you have already defined an API access, simply copy the login and password for future use in Octobus. If you have not yet defined any API access, click on the New button located in the top right corner of the page to create a new entry. Provide a name for the new entry and select the following profiles to add to your API access, Customer, R, Customer, W, Device Manager, R, Device Manager, W, and Device Messages, R. Click the OK button on the bottom of the page, and copy the values for login and password for later usage in Octobus. Part 2. Synchronizing the Sigfox device types and devices to Octobus. After obtaining the Sigfox API access data, you can proceed to synchronize it with Octobus. To begin, access the System Admin menu on the left-hand side menu and select Developer Console. This will present a screen displaying the available integrations in Octobus for you to choose from. To activate the Sigfox API integration, utilize the slider on the right side of the screen. Upon activation, a pop-up window will emerge, requesting you to enter the previously obtained Sigfox API credentials. Input the required information and click Authorize. In the background, Octobus will try to log into Sigfox and generate a list of all available device types and devices in the Sigfox backend. This screen displays the information found using your credentials. For this particular case, we will be working with the devices for the Simple Pack 4.0 Wi-Fi. It is a straightforward push-button sensor that has three actions, single press, double press, and long press. First, we must synchronize the device type. To do this, select the template on the right-hand side and click, Sync. After a brief moment, you can view on the right-hand side of the screen that the device type has been synchronized, and the asset type has been created. Now, let's synchronize a device. Click the, Sync, button behind the first device. After a moment, you will notice on the right-hand side that the asset has been created. Next, let's check the asset type and asset. On the left-hand side menu, click, Asset, and choose, Asset Type. In the list view, you can observe the created asset type. On the right-hand side, you can see the measurements for this sensor. This sensor type only has one measurement, which provides information on whether and how long the button has been pressed. On the left-hand side, you can find descriptive information and Sigfox-specific information. Now click, Assets, on the left-hand side menu. In the list view, you can see the synchronized device, mapped to your asset. Next, let's test if our sensor is working. In the left-hand side menu, click Dashboards and create a new dashboard. Name the dashboard and select the dashboard type as a widget. An empty dashboard will be generated, and you will be directed to pick the first widget you want to create. In our example, we choose the table chart. On the Select Data screen, select the asset type, the asset, and the measurement you want to see. Click Next. Specify the time frame and name of the widget and click Create. You will now see the dashboard with the table widget, which is currently empty. Now, click on the sensor to demonstrate that the data is transmitted by the Sigfox backend and retrieved by Octobus. A second test is a long press. At present, the data transmitted by the sensor is a number. 304 for a single press, 305 for a double press, and 306 for a long press. 
to explore various methods for obtaining a different representation, see our other tutorials. You could set up a text widget to convert the value to text or directly set up a measurement mapping in the asset type.